So the question first is, my daughter is on point at nine. Should I be concerned? Absolutely. Now, I just want to share something first. I was giving a progressing ballet technique class in America in 2018, where we all sit around and talk about feet at the end when we go into the Allegro section. And we're sitting in a circle and we look at the feet and we look at the range of demi point and we talk a lot about the feet. And there was one teacher who happened to be near me and she said to everyone in the circle, and it was a full course, and she was probably the only teacher in the room that was around my age. You all listen to this person, listen to what she's got to say. Look at my feet. I was a child protege. I was put on point at nine. I was told I was going to be famous. I was pushed. I was accepted into San Francisco Ballet Company. And six months later, I had a series of foot operations. Of course, I went on point before my growth plates were ready. And look at the deformity. I teach ballet, but I even struggle to teach. And everyone looked at her feet and they clearly understood. So don't do it. Yes, you should be concerned. I think we might start this one with, with Esther, if that's all right. I've been fighting all my life to stop that eight and nine year olds being on point, or even the 11 year olds for that matter. Um, and there's a beautiful um, image um, from a lady called Celia Sparker, and she wrote ballet books in the 1950s. And this is this gorgeous image of x-rays of a four-year-old, an 11-year-old, and a 16-year-old. And of course, the gross plates are made from cartilage, and cartilage is the same stuff because your nose and your ears are made out of, so it's very soft and easily damaged. And on an x-ray, correct me if I'm wrong, my two medical experts, they don't show up on the x-ray. They just show us a gap. So as you can see in those images, in a four-year-old, it's like putty. It's just, there's nothing much there in terms of bones. And even in an 11-year-old, it is stronger than it is in a four-year-old. And I suspect that's where the idea came from. It's okay to go and do it at 11. But if you look clearly, the gross plates are all open and they don't, even in a 16-year-old, they're not all sealed. So we, we should wait until they, they've gone towards the adolescent growth button down that biggest bit of growing. If they have to be on point, can we please take them off when they go through that adolescent growth spurt? Because the, the body is so much at risk from all angles um, at that point. Um, I really don't want dancers to go on point too early. And from experience, I can tell you every time I've held someone back, they still made it into the professional world. I mean, the idea that you have to start point work as young as possible so you can bend the bones into the right shape just makes me cringe. Please, please. Don't do it. <laughs> I would like to expand on this and give the perspective of what else that nine-year-old is doing. So if that nine-year-old is doing enough class training and technique training and strength training and everything else training to be allowed to dance on point how many hours of dance per week is that nine-year-old doing and in that respect are they aligned with international best practice or are they doing more hours than is recommended for their age and if so that's a greater psychological problem for the dancer than just whether or not they're dancing on point. I think the whole environment of getting a nine-year-old on point is more dangerous in some respects than just putting a nine-year-old on point. It's a symptom, but it's not the whole situation. And so that's really what worries me. I've worked with teachers who have had these protégés, sent the student for an assessment, and I've sent them back saying, no, I think we just need to work on this a little bit and then that's it. That's the last dancer I see from that teacher. Yeah. So sometimes I try to be diplomatic. And as you've said, Georgina, I ask, how many hours is this student dancing? And particularly, how many hours on point? Are they at the bar on point? Are they on two feet? Are they on one foot? Are they in the center? Are they turn doing turns? 
they should, you know, are they jumps, you know. So sometimes I think if I'm diplomatic, so I can maintain a relationship with the teacher rather than alienate the teacher, because to the teacher's credit, they were coming to our clinic and seeing the dance physios and taking our advice most of the time and would take away suggestions for exercises and, and time constraints and monitoring load. Now, such a big deal, we monitor load. How much are you doing? As you said, Georgina, how many hours? How hard are you working on the Borg scout? So sometimes I feel, for me, I wish to maintain a relationship with that teacher, a professional rapport, even if sometimes it means uh, we don't agree. But blanket, nine years old, a whole class of nine-year-olds, great, go off and buy your point shoes. No, no, I can't say that either, no, no. <laughs>